Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your own data store in Roblox Studio. Now, it's been a while since I've done one of these, and that script could be out of date. So, in today's video, I'm just going to be creating a new one, and this one should work and be up to date. So, before we start, make sure you go into the View tab and open up Explore and Properties. So, what you want to do next is go into the Home tab and then click on Game Settings. Uh, so, for data stores to work on Roblox, your game needs to be published. So, if your game isn't already published, uh, then you can just go ahead and do that right now. So, for a name, I'm just going to name a data store and I'm just going to click Save. So, once your game is saved, uh, you can now start on the data store. So the first thing you need to do is go back into the game settings and then this screen should turn up if the game is already saved and then what you want to do is go into security and under security we need to turn on API services so this enables the studio uh, to access game services such as the data stores and then click on save and then you can go into the explorers go under the service script service click the plus and enter in a script and you can rename the script to a data store and now we can start on our data store script so I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit here so first of all we're gonna need to get the data store so we're gonna write local data store service equals to game colon get service and then inside the brackets we're gonna put in quotation marks and then we're gonna write data store service so this line of code uh, just retrieves the service for the data store and we're going to go down a line and then we're going to write local data store equals to data store service colon get data store and then inside the brackets we're going to put quotation marks and then this can be whatever you want so I'm just going to name it test so the thing inside these uh, quotation marks will be the name of your data store. Uh, so for this video, we're just going to be naming it to test, but it doesn't really matter what it is. So next up, we're going to be creating our leader stats. So we're going to go down line, and then we're going to write game.players.playerAdded colon connect function, and we're going to put in the brackets. And then inside the brackets, we're going to write player. We're going to go out of the bracket and then go down a line. And we're going to write player dot character added colon wait. So what this means is when the player joins the game, we're going to wait for the character to load. After that, we're going to go down a line and we're going to write local leader stats equals to instance dot new and then folder. So we're going to be creating a new folder. And then we're going to write leader stats dot name equals to quotation marks leader stats. So make sure that leader stats is spelled exactly like this or else Roblox won't know you're trying to create a leader stats. After that, we're going to go down line and we're going to write leader stats dot parent equals to uh, the player. Uh, now, what you could also do instead of uh, writing this line is after the folder, you can write comma player. Uh, this also does the same thing, uh, but we're going to try to keep the tutorial simple and consistent. So we're just going to say leader stats parent uh, will be under the player. After that, go down to lines, and this is where we got to create our int values for our leader stats. So I'm going to be using points and wins for today's tutorial. So local points equals to instance dot new quotation marks and then an int value. And for that, we're going to go down the line and we're going to write points dot name equals to in quotation marks points. And we're going to go down the line and write points dot parent equals to the leader stats. And we're going to create one more for wins. So local wins equals to instance dot new quotation marks int value. Go down the line wins dot name equals to wins and then go down the line and then wins dot parent equals to leader stats so this is our leader stats script so, so if we join the game right now as you can see on the top right corner we have leader stats and then points and wins 
Now this is completely optional, but if you want the player to start off with some points or some wins already, you can just go down the line, write in points dot value equals, and then you can give them how many points you want them to start off with. Um, for example, we can write wins dot value equals to one, two, three, and I'll change points to three, two, one. Um, so if you write uh, this line down here and then put in the number, this is how much they will start off with uh, when they first join the game. So next up, we're going to create our data store. So we're going to go down two lines and then we're going to write local data equals to nil. So right now we don't have any data. So nil just means uh, nothing. We're going to go down two lines and then we're going to write local success comma error message equals to p call and then function put in brackets and go out of the bracket and then go down line and then write data equals to data store so this one colon get async and then we're going to write player dot user id so every player in Roblox has their own unique uh, user ID. So when we have the data and we see that they have data, we're going to get the player's user ID so that we know what player it is. After that, we're going to go from this end and then we're going to go down two lines. And then we're going to write if success and data then. So if we get the use if we get the player's user ID and there is data, then points dot value equals to data and then square brackets one and then wins dot value equals to data square bracket two. So if we find the user and we find the data, then we just set this data. So just make sure that these numbers one and two are consistent. So in this case, our points will be the first value and our wins will always be the second value. Uh, so after that, we're going to go down the line and I'm going to write else and we're going to go down the line and we're going to write print. The player has no data. And then we're going to go down the line and then we're going to warn the error message. So right now, the script uh, if zoomed out should look something like this uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way back up to the top here and we're going to go down two lines so now we need to create our save function so function we're going to go down line and then we're going to write local function and then save data and then brackets and we're going to write player so we're going to create our own function to save the data and then we're going to write local table to save equals to and we're going to create a table and then we're going to go down the line and then we're going to write player dot leader stats dot points dot value and then we're going to put in a semicolon we're going to go down the line and then player dot leader stats dot wins dot value and then semicolon so just make sure that the leader stats here matches with the one in the quotation marks the points matches with the points here and value is spelled like that and then the wins here matches with the one in the quotation marks over there so after the table we're going to go down two lines and then we're going to write local success comma error message equals to p call and then data store dot and then set a sync comma data store comma player dot user id make sure it's spelled exactly like that and then comma table to save after that we can go down two lines and write if success then and then we're going to print uh, and then quotation marks data has been saved and then we're going to do the same thing uh, for if the data hasn't 
being saved so else print and then data has not been saved just like that so now we're going to go back to the bottom of the script and we're just going to finish up saving the data whenever the player leaves the game or the server closes game dot players dot player removing colon connect function brackets and then we're going to put in player and we're going to go down the line and then we're going to write save data and inside of brackets we're going to write the player so this means so what this means is when the player rem, uh, is leaving the game we're going to save the data of the player leaving the game and then we're going to go down another two lines and then game colon bind to close and then inside the brackets we're going to write function and we're going to put in brackets and then we're going to go down the line and then we're going to write for underscore comma player in i pairs game dot players colon get players and then outside the brackets we're gonna write do and we're gonna go down the line and then we're gonna write task dot spawn and inside the brackets we're gonna write save data comma player so what this means is when the game uh, shuts down the servers or when the server is getting shut down, we're going to loop through all the players inside the game and then we're going to save the data of every single person inside the server. So your final script should look uh, something like this. So now we're going to create a part uh, that will give me stats whenever I touch it. So I'm just going to put in a spawn. And then I guess I'll put in a part. Point dot value plus equals to three. And then leader stats dot wins dot value plus equals to one. So now we can go test out the data store. So here I am inside the game. And if I open up the output, as you can see, the player currently has no data. And the nil means, um, well, we don't have data. So if we go back into the game and I go over this block, uh, I will, you know, I'll be getting some stats. So I'm going to stop uh, about now. So right now you can see that I have 606 points, 218 wins. And now I'm just going to click stop, which will shut down the server. And if you go over here, you can see that uh, it printed out the data uh, has been saved. Um, so if we go back by pressing play, and then we'll load back in. And as you can see, I load back in with 606 points and 218 wins. So to demonstrate, I'm just going to do this one more time. I'm going to be getting some points from our stat block. I'll stop at around 1,000 points. Okay, so 1,044, 364 wins. So now I'm going to stop the game or shut down the server. As you can see, the data has been saved again. And I'm going to press play, go back into the game. And we are in and you can see we have 1044 points 364 wins so yeah that will be it for this tutorial if you liked it make sure to like comment subscribe and share uh, and i'll see you guys next time bye hey guys um if you want to know how to create your own um stat block like the one shown in the video uh, you can either just copy the script in the description or you can click on this video on the end screen right now it'll take you to my extras channel uh, in which I will just teach you guys how to create that very simple stat block. But yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.